Like that's what we do. And that's the reason why we have 12 millionaires right now. Under your umbrella. Under our umbrella, we currently have 12 millionaires right now. Okay. So 12 million dollar companies or 12 millionaires? Well, I mean, your net worth is like, you know, the oh, okay. of your company. So million dollars, but as far as million dollars to their pocket, yeah, yeah, they're yeah. all going to get that within like, you know, it's going to take about two years or so probably to okay. build that up. But you'll have a million dollars in your pocket within like two years once you get to that point. Right. So, I mean, everything is still in phases. That's another thing people have to realize is that like this isn't get quick money. Mm-hmm. Like you don't see A lot see of work this. it sounds like, or is it? Well, it, it, the thing is, it's not like it's a whole lot of work. It's just that you need to know what to do. Because a lot of people just don't understand what they're supposed to do. Like, mm-hmm. healthcare is one of those things where, like, a lot of people just don't understand it because there's not a lot of information on it. And it's just hard to figure out where to go to get that information. And we make it super simple and easy for anybody to understand. That's why nobody has to be a doctor or a nurse or um, a person who is in the medical field. Like, we teach this to you at a fundamental level to where anybody can pick it up. Mm-hmm. And if you see half of the mentees that we have that have been million dollar companies, like I got a, I got a kid right now who was in his parents' basement, mm-hmm. literally a million dollar company now. Moved out, got his own place, his own car, everything else. Got some other people who were like making twelve dollars an hour, who were like doing telecommunication services, and right. they were just like working call centers. Now like making three million dollars a year. Mm-hmm. Like we got people who um, you know ran tax businesses, and we also got people who actually made good money. We had people the, the who more, made like the, the Morehouse guy, the Morehouse yeah, guy, exactly yeah, yeah. Morehouse guy, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, so we got other people who've made like, you know, 300000 400000 a year and still is like, I'm quitting that job because I'm making way more with this running this healthcare business than actually working that job. So we've seen every side of the spectrum. We've seen people who don't have it. We see people who do have it. And everybody still comes to the same conclusion. Of like, look, I'm quitting what I'm doing because this is making so much money and the impact is so important and it's helping so many people and it's creating the jobs that is just such a win-win that like, you just stick with it, and that's it. Well, how do and, you? And, my bad. I keep jumping in. My, oh no, 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 go ahead. How, so yeah. it's, <clears throat> um, so it's like two hundred and fifteen services or something. Or is that how it works? It's two hundred and fifteen services you can provide, right? Well, or, for or, this for this business, it's yeah. only two services. Well, in healthcare, is it? Where did I get the two fifteen so, from? So in healthcare, just as a whole. Yeah. So like, if you're thinking about medical transportation, or if you're thinking about doing medical supplies, yeah. or you're thinking about just physician practices, or if you're thinking about like residential care, like we talked about before, if you're talking mm-hmm. about home healthcare. There's a bunch. Right. So just depending upon like which um, you know particular business of healthcare you choose to like embark in, that's going to determine like what's part of that two hundred fifteen. Because there's there's a lot of different services you could provide. We mm-hmm. only teach people is one service. That's okay, that, that was my question. That's all we all teach. Right. We only teach okay. just one thing. You know how they say jack of all trades, but master of none? Yeah. No, we teach you to be master of just one thing. And this one thing will sustain you forever. It's no point to do anything else. Like, I don't do anything else. Yeah. I don't do anything else. And I think that's even, you know, like, I'll give you some transparency. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to give you, I'm talking about that because I'll give you about some transparency with me. I was just telling them, I was talking to, I don't know who I was talking to somebody. I was like, man, um, I was talking to this girl, right? And she was telling me, she was trying to describe to her homegirls what I do. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> and she was like, she was like, oh, he does this. He, he has his own tequila brand. He does branding. He does marketing. He does web. I, I mean, he just does a lot. <laughs> and she was, I, thought, I was telling oh, I said, I said, damn. I said, this sound kind of whack. <laughs> sound, like like, a, sound like a nigga. Like. Yeah, so just, this now nigga just out here like hustling, what? just doing a whole bunch of stuff. Yeah. Like, yo, like, dang. He, oh, he has, oh, she, he has a podcast. <laughs> she was like, oh, oh, then one day she called me out. She was like, what you doing? I was like, I was like, <laughs> <laughs> I said, <laughs> I was like, I'm uh, renting out this Lambo. She said, oh, dang, you, you rent Lambo? She rent cars too? I was like, damn. <laughs> I'm like, yo, let me start this healthcare business with Brad. You, you, you do everything but cut hair, huh? Everything but cut hair, golly. So, so, all right. So, with that being said, that mm-hmm. one thing, right? Mm-hmm. That one thing. You said something early, and, I, and I'm hearing about the success stories, right? And I know it's common um, practices for success, right? Success leaves clues. I could talk about the ones that aren't successful. 